president enjoys about 2.5 million of the national budget. The president, what the president enjoys 2.5 million in the national budget, students have been denied access to education. So we see this as a, a violation of the constitution and an abandonment of education. How can you how can you how can you in the first place, how can you announce a PhD program or launch a PhD program when the undergraduate program premier is not in place on when you have students are still learning in massive classes, you want to launch a PhD program? Yo, is that what President Obama is saying? To you us? need PhD and master before you go for PhD. Yo, yo. When yo. you don't have su sufficient spaces to accommodate students, you are talking about launching a PhD program when students, when students, so, 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 when students, so, 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 when students, so, 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 when students, we prevented when, the program today. Then we did not prevent the program. We are very clear with our position. We say it so far. President Baka does not ensure that students return to school. President Baka is wanted on this campus. And that was the position of the student education party. Sorry. As it stands, the 48 hours has been lapsed. Have been lapsed. So the other President Baka is not wanted yet. So that, that, that's, that's unwanted as a new state, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, if the, the faculty members' uh, 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 problems can be solved in the next few days of uh, uh, we give for some assault. Our argument is we must return to academic, we should, we should return to classes so that academic activities can be administered to us. So, so, so one, once that is done, the person can, can be able to come back. Of course, until stu most students do not return, do not return to classes, the person is not welcome here. So once the president ensures that the demands of the faculty and the staff are met, the students are in classes, <laughs> of course the president can come on the campus. But until the president does that, the president is not welcome on this campus. But the, 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 the you at the university recently uh, put on a release that uh, uh, they, they, they have communicated with the faculty members and uh, things were on post. Why are you not coming back? Things are on post. You, 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 you are a journalist. Look at the viewer classes. All of the classes are closed. You say things are on post. This is why Mr. Norris Tour, Mr. Norris Tour is provoking students at this university. Yo! That, so if you say Mr. Norris Tour is provoking yo, students, yo, what do we mean by that? That students that says that offer is on track, and you say, you say to the public that classes have resumed, we see that as a day service. And we are not surprised because Norris Tour is the mayor of is the brother of Summer Tour, the man who makes appropriated the national road phone. So we are not surprised that Mr. Tour will come and, and deceive the public. We want to say to the public that in so far students are denied access. To education president Baka is not wanted yet. And the information that was posted by by by, by Norris Tour, that information is not true. Posted by university. True Norris Tour, who is who is, who is the US relation? Vice president for relations. I can't less about a position, mm -hmm. but as it stands, students are not in school. And we see there as a violation of the constitution that that students will be denied access to education while President Baka is very luxury car at the same time relaxing a, in, a, in an AC office. We see there as a day service to the Liberian people. And that is why the student education party this morning is summer on campus to ensure. Have you been able to work with the university president? That don't ask. Work, work in, in, what, in what form? To be able to uh, uh, come to one uh, common goal in, uh, for all of these uh, plans that you are laying. Yo! Of course, of course. What has been yo, yo. yo, of course, of course, we have been working on the US administration. But the US administration has refused to ensure. This is what the student education party had to speak to the Liberian people through the press conference, raising our demands. Because all of, all of the efforts we have we have applied diplomatically, it has not materialized. So on the basis Zalo. of that, we are never no authority. We are never no authority. We are never no authority. But to move into action. This is what the militants of the student education party said this morning have been on this campus. Because we're informed that President Baga should have come here. So because of this, we were on this campus. But fortunately, while the militants of the student education party were exercising their constitutional right as is guaranteed by Article 17 of the 1986 Constitution of the Republic of Liberia, the militants of the student education party so, were attacked by the Boycott police. Our militants were brutalized. Five of our militants are currently at central. They were arrested by the police for exercising their constitutional right. So, several of our comrades were brutalized. As it stands, they are, they are seeking medical treatments at various hospitals. A brother was even hit with the gun in his stomach. Mm -hmm. As we speak, the brother is crying because of the pain he is enduring. And we want to warn President Waka. We want to warn President Waka to be free for training on the path that President we are training all in this country. 
President Weir used the police, he used paramilitary organization to intimidate the militants of the Student Education Party. Yeah. But we never were never fighting. We never were, but we are very consistent until today, Mr. Weir is history. So if Waka want to use the police as a middle of intimidating us, I want to say to President Waka that you are joking. The militants of the Student Education Party cannot be intimidated by partisan police. In fact, the militants of the Student Education Party has been very consistent in the struggle. As you may be aware, the Student Education Party has fought against dictatorship. We fought Mr. Doe here. The Student Education Party struggled against Charles Taylor against us, who is currently lying behind the heck. Then Mr. Bwaka wants to intimidate all the police. We cannot be intimidated by police. We want to, we want to warn President Bwaka, and we want to warn Greg Cuomo for using the police as a means of intimidating citizens, as a means of intimidating students. What transpired a few, few, few minutes ago, we see this as a violation of the Constitution. And President Bwaka took off the, to, to protect the Constitution, like we said, Article 53. So therefore, President Bwaka was refrain from using the police. President Bwaka must ensure that the demands of offer are met. President Bwaka must ensure that he listened to the plight of the student education party, so. and that students will come to classes that will get our final exam and conclude the academic semester. This is the position of the student education party, and we will be on on this. We're not going to compromise this position until students return to classes. My name is Christopher Bessman. I report for Force of Liberia. If the president continues to remain dormant on this particular issue, we're going to be the student education party will utilize the constitution. The Constitution precisely Article 17 guarantees the rights of all Liberians to assemble for the redress of petition. So we are going to invoke Article 17. We are going to assemble, we are going to rally the students of this university. If possible, we are going to rally our parents to join in the protest. Yo! To join in protestation. It will be a repeat of the horizon of Suez. Yo, yo, yo! yo. My name is Benji Mokwe Joseph, I do report for Freedom and FM. You just quote the article. The I Constitution, the 17th of the Liberian Constitution, giving the right to assemble. Some of the colleges assembled at the Ministry of Public Way and they were utilized by the Liberian National Police to uh, What do you stay? Who the comments? By a student. Uh, no, 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 no. student from the university. No, no, no. We are not aware of that information until we verify that. But what we want to say is that. They were also brutalized. So we are saying, I mean, if what students if the police. Of the university said, are brutalized, we see this as a violation of the Constitution because the Constitution guarantees the right to assembly. Why would President Bwaka be training on similar bar that President we are training on here before? We are warning President Bwaka. We are encouraging President Bwaka to respect the Constitution. This is our position. So we are going to verify the information yo, of students that were brutalized. And we ensure, we ensure, we ensure that Bwaka deliver all the promises made to the Liberian people that the issue of accountability and transparency is visible in the Bwaka's administration because President Bwaka can be on the basis of accountability and justice. But Bwaka has refused to give out justice. This is why a few days ago the student education party was left with no alternative when President Bwaka was campaigning against the electors of mysterious death or consistent violation of the constitution. Since President Bwaka took over as president of this republic, President Bwaka is here to ensure that justice be fulfilled for the poor auditors that were massacred under the CCC government. Yo, to ensure that justice be fulfilled. Rescue mission, general theory mission. Yo, yo, yo. The militants of the student education party that were put on last for July 26, 2022. This is why the student education party had to go to the legislature to demand the justice ministry in keeping with the oversight to ensure that justice be fulfilled for our comrades. We're not going to compromise the issue of justice, the issue of accountability. We're not going to allow our constitutional rights, especially Article 6, to be violated by the Bwaka's administration. This will not accept. We are very clear about this. They want to see President Bwaka remain unwanted on this campus until the demands of the Student Education Party is ahead. Thank you so much. Manda! 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 Listen to the Banga Student Education Party. We just listen to them. Yeah, they have been on the campus since this morning to ensure that the president won't stop from entering, entering this premises of the university. So just listen to them. And they said if the president will continue to remain dominant on this issue, they will rally the students of the university. To rally parents of every student to petition the president 
possibly answer or a hair to the blast. My name is Christopher. This is Force of Liberia. You just listened to the Vanguard Student Education Party. Initially, we were at Lane Street where five members, five students from the Progressive Student Alliance of the University of Liberia Prosa were captured by the Liberia National Police. The Prosa mounted the Ministry of huge number of men for what reason we yet to know. Savaza. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks. So as you say, the guys are parading the campus, making sure that government officials will not penetrate the campus in terms of this uh, doctoral program. This, this school initially talks about that we're being postponed to our new date. Thanks for watching.